So today I'm talking about a Chevy Cruze with the P1101 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Chevy Cruze P1101 code? Well, it's an intake airflow system performance. And depending on which scan tool you're using, you might also get some other definitions like actual measured airflow, MAF, EGR, and TP is not within range of calculated airflow, or you might get a MAF out of self-test range. So there can be some different definitions depending on which scan tool you're using. But what does this all mean? Well, basically there's what's called a MAF sensor or a mass airflow sensor sensor that's located up by the intake air box and it's basically just measuring all the air that's flowing into the engine and the computer is using this information to calculate the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders and for some reason this is off the computer's seeing a problem inside of this and so it's going to have to be troubleshooting a why and one thing to mention about a Chevy Cruze with a P1101 code is that it's a very common code for this car and it can be caused by different things so there isn't going to be one single fix for this you just kind of have to eliminate all the possible causes and basically troubleshoot what's going on with it and so for this reason if you're getting other codes be sure to pay attention to that because that can help point you to what the problem is and another thing is that if you do replace any sensors like the MAF sensor or something like that try to get an OEM sensor because sometimes these aftermarket sensors sometimes they can work good but other times they could just cause issues so if possible try to get an OEM original sensor for your Chevy Cruze and so what are some possible causes of a Chevy Cruze with the P1101 code well the first thing to go and check is going to be the air filter go and check it be sure that it's not really dirty you can also check the intake air box for any kind of debris that might have gotten in there or anything along these lines but basically if that intake air filter is really dirty it's going to block the airflow going into the engine and i could just throw everything off so be sure to check your air filter the next thing that could cause this is going to be a bad map sensor it might have just gone bad it just need to be replaced it's very common for these to get dirty and just need to be cleaned up. There's some cleaner that you could buy at like automotive stores and you could basically clean it up and put it back in and, and see if the code clears. Quite often that can help out MAF sensor air codes. If you have an OBD2 scan tool, you can also test it to see if it's failed. I made a video on that. I'll put a link down below if you need to check that out. But one of the things that can cause this is a bad MAF sensor. Another common cause of this code is going to be a dirty throttle body. And basically when these throttle bodies get all dirty, they get a bunch of buildup on them and things like this. This can throw off all the sensors and everything because of the airflow that's flowing past it. It could just throw everything off. And so quite often if you just clean up the throttle body, that can help solve problems. You clean them up, basically you get some throttle body cleaner that comes inside of a spray can. And you just spray it inside of there, maybe use a small toothbrush, something like that to help clean it up and get all this buildup off of it. You can remove the throttle body and clean it up really detailed. Sometimes you can just clean it up while it's still attached. And that can also work sometimes. One thing to mention is that if you do get some throttle body cleaner and you clean it up real good, when you first start the car, all that throttle body cleaner is going to need to be burned off. So the vehicle will run rough for like one, two minutes until all that throttle body cleaner is burnt off. But another fix for this code on a Chevy Cruze is a dirty throttle body. This code can also be caused by some some kind of issue going on inside the wiring mainly with the wires going to the map sensor if there's like an open or a short or a bad connection with any of the wires going to the map sensor then that's going to cause the same issues as the bad map sensor itself so be sure to keep that in mind. And the next thing that could cause is that there's some kind of vacuum leak going on or intake air leak. And basically what this means is that air is getting into the engine somehow, which is bypassing the throttle body, because all the air going into the engine should be going into the throttle body. And so if there's a leak somewhere around the engine, a bad hose, a bad gasket, a bad PCV valve, something like that, then it's going to throw everything off. A very common problem on Chevy Cruises and vacuum leaks is going to be the PCV valve. It can vary depending on the year on exactly where it's located. For example, this is a 2012 Chevy Cruze and it's located right here. Quite often when these fail, they'll make a loud noise. So if you hear like a loud whooshing noise of air, then it might be this PCV valve. You can also check the dipstick to see if any air is blown out of the tube because that's a common thing that happens when that PCV valve goes bad. So basically just pull out your dipstick a little bit and if any air is really pushing out, then that's a symptom of a bad PCV valve. While that PCV valve is a common location for a leak, there can also be a leak from any of these hoses, from the valve cover gaskets, or things like this. So sometimes it can be kind of hard to spot. There's some different ways to go about trying to find a vacuum leak. Some mechanics will start up the engine and they'll use like a flammable spray. And then wherever they think there's an intake air leak, they'll spray the spray. And if the engine idle changes, then they know they found the leak location. Another method is the smoke machine method, where basically you feed smoke into the air intake. And wherever the smoke comes out, you know where the leak location's at and you'll be able to fix it. There's some low cost smoke machines on like Amazon or eBay. I'll put a link down below if you need one. But you can also make these up yourself. There's like YouTube videos on how you go about making these for like $5, $10 and things like this but the next thing that can cause this is going to be that there's a vacuum leak going on somewhere on the engine and it just needs to be found
And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Chevy Cruze with the P1101 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.